Time our top national story this morning. With every passing second, the deadline for a government shutdown gets ever closer. That's right. Lawmakers have until Friday to come up with some sort of solution. And although Republicans are in charge of Congress, there is a division within the GOP. John Lawrence reports. It's late in the fourth quarter, and the Republican Party needs a Hail Mary to keep the government funded. There is no such deal. Lindsey Graham has spent a year buttering the president up, telling him how wonderful his golf swing is and how masterfully he putts, and he has absolutely nothing to show for it. President Trump in a tweet blames the Democrats, saying their stance on amnesty and border security will cause a shutdown. However, the GOP controls the House and the Senate. They do not need our votes. If the government shuts down, it is the responsibility of the Republicans. And there is division within the party of Lincoln. On Tuesday, House Republican leaders offered a continuing resolution which would delay a shutdown until mid-February. The House Freedom Caucus, made up of conservative Republicans, says the party doesn't have enough votes to pass the plan. Chairman Mark Meadows telling CNN it will be extremely difficult to convince our caucus members to vote for another short-term funding mechanism. And as the clock ticks, talks continue. The blame game is a world-class sport here in Washington, D.C. Uh, I'd rather do our job and to keep the government up and running and continue negotiations. So I don't think there's going to be a shutdown. I think that would be a, a big mistake. This president talks about this great economy. The economy will shift if this happens. I mean, hundreds of thousands of people could be furloughed for a while. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Now, Democratic officials say that they won't agree on any spending caps until a deal is set for the DACA program. It expires on March 5th.